I'm sharing this with you guys in the hopes of inspiring someone out there to follow their dreams, make their passion come true. And perhaps it's in aviation or maybe something else in your life. But hopefully you find inspiration from these images. My name is Dion Mitten and I fly seaplanes for a living. It takes me to some really beautiful locations like this and this and this and this. This is an idea which started a few years back when I wanted to share some of the beautiful places that I experience as a commercial seaplane pilot by making photos and photo gifts and I decided to start sharing it with friends and family. Well, more people started asking about it so I started making it available online. Along the way, I also get to fly with really good aviation friends. As you might imagine, putting together an air-to-air -air photography shoot is not a cheap endeavor. It involves multiple crews, multiple aircraft, and then on top of everything, of course, the scheduling and the weather needs to play along. So to create these air-to-air -air photographs typically involves multiple hours of planning over multiple days and potentially waiting on the weather. Lots of time spent on the ground with safety briefings and talking about the aviation aspects regardless of the photography elements. That's generally secondary. So once all the ground planning is straightened out, we go fly. Let's go check out these mountains behind me. Uh, there's a big ice field and then also the glaciers between here and Seward. Welcome to Seward, Alaska. This is Resurrection Bay right behind me. It's also home to a local and resident orca pod. I love your Regal Air uh, sweatshirt. Thank you. Where did you get that? This, this is like the selfie cam. <laughs> no, this is yeah. the selfie cam. Okay, so what is this one under the wing for? This one gets about like the pilot and that's like the far right hand of the screen and then scenery. Now during an aerial photography session, the number one priority is in-flight safety. So the first and primary thing that we focus on is to make sure that all the elements align, the communication is very, very clear about different scenarios, failure scenarios, break-off scenarios. And if a close formation needs to be maintained, then obviously the pilots need to be very skilled. But either way, the, the piloting perspective of this exercise is primary towards the uh, maintaining the safety. And of course it involves several phases of the flight. The timing of the departure of multiple airplanes, the joining up into a formation at a predetermined rendezvous location. And then once we were all set up and the location looks good and the in-flight uh, checks have been completed in terms of the formation flying and the communication between the two aircraft, then I start to focus on the photography elements. So as with any photography exercise, three elements of importance are framing, lighting and perspective. Now, framing has to do with the position of the subject aircraft uh, relative to its background. Maybe we want to have you know, a certain part of the landscape visible, other parts not. So I might want the snow-capped mountains plus a skyline plus the horizon, or it might be a shot more from above where we want specific features down on the ground visible. But either way, the framing is very important. Secondly, the lighting is very important. Of course, we're shooting in the outdoors, so there are two parts to lighting that really need to work out. If we're filming propeller aircraft, then the light onto the propeller and the reflection of that light towards the camera 
is key in capturing a beautifully lit uh, propeller disc. Lighting on the background is very important. If we're trying to show the environment, let's say, again, mountainous terrain, there might be snow, there might be glaciers, there might be some features of the terrain that needs to be in broad sunlight. And so if we're under clouds and the lighting on the background doesn't work out well, then the whole shot really is gonna be difficult to pull off. And then thirdly, perspective. The perspective is the angle at which you're photographing the subject. Now, the important thing to note is anybody that's filmed in the outdoors really knows that you have no control over the environmental uh, aspects of what goes on. In addition to not having control over any of the lighting in the outdoors, by introducing the dynamics of formation flying uh, through this environment, we're essentially creating a dynamic environment where the framing, the lighting, the perspective, everything changes all the time, like from second to second. So as we're moving through 3D space, we're introducing change, of course, all the time. And it might take us multiple times at trying to get that one shot where the framing, the lighting, the perspective and the background lines up. And we might just get lucky and get one or two shots out of it. So at the end of the day, it's a very time consuming, very high demanding on the pilots, uh, also from a safety perspective and generally just a very dynamic environment in which we're hoping to capture you know one or two still images that portray a certain mood and a, a certain character and shows the environment in a certain way uh, so suffice to say it's a dynamic environment lots of things going on and of course unless the pilots are fully capable and skilled to operate in this environment in the, and in this configuration you really have little chance of obtaining a successful outcome. And if everything comes together in the mission, we end up with a few photographs and maybe a few video clips that are worth sharing with the world. The 2022 seaplane calendar is a hanging wall calendar. It's 11 by 16 unfolded something I do for friends and family but since many people have asked I also make it available online this year I've printed three different cover photos like you can see there now whether you choose to put it on your wall or just enjoy the photos via social media I really want to thank all my aviation friends uh, that play a role in making this happen as you can imagine there are many pilots many airplanes involved in pulling off uh, these aerial shots so do enjoy it let me know your feedback and I'm looking forward to hearing back from you Let's go check out these mountains behind me. Uh, there's a big ice field and then also the glaciers between here and Seward.